I'm an environmental lawyer and have spent much of my career attempting to protect the earth, my higher power, my center, my faith. And the problem that I have been facing has not been individuals or even corporations, but an economic system that was not in sync with the cycles and systems of the earth. The Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act, the Endangered Species Act, the hazardous waste laws are all band-aids on an economic system coming out of World War II that was not in sync with the Earth and Earth cycles. Earth Church is about the Earth, about keeping it capable of performing the function of keeping us and other living things alive. It's about protecting our home, keeping it safe and secure, keeping it functioning, and at this point in time, we need to understand that we have the ability to transform the Earth to change those very characteristics that made it possible for us to exist. But at least in part, the problem is that we don't seem to understand our own power, our power to destroy or our power to heal. Today, we must face up to the problem of our changing climate and begin to make changes in our economic system to address climate change. One of the easiest and most dramatic changes we could make would be for those who emit carbon to pay landowners to restore native prairies. Native prairies take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and through photosynthesis transforms it into organic carbon, which moves it into the soil, making it healthy, enriching the base of life on Earth. This economy would be in sync with natural cycles, in sync with the doctrines of Earth Church. But first, we have to understand that which our current economy does and is doing. And that means directly facing up to our responsibilities with regard to causing and now addressing climate change. Climate change. The temperature is rising, storms are forming. We're in the midst of global warming. What have we done to the atmosphere? How did this happen? How did we get here? CO2 and methane and other greenhouse gases build up in the atmosphere through which sunlight passes, hitting the earth and reflecting back into space. But this gas layer becomes like a greenhouse case. Increasing gas concentrations, a chemical reshape, all reflected heat is not allowed to escape. If we don't reduce these greenhouse gases, this warming will kick our collective asses. Since 1900, our temperature has been rising up one degree centigrade. I'm not lying. And that temperature will go way on up if we don't control our emissions blow up. When the atmosphere heats up, so does the sea, increasing the fuel for hurricane intensity. More heat, more fuel, and stronger circulation inexorably increasing the threat to habitation. And then there's the problem of the ice, for as it melts, we will pay the price. If Greenland and Antarctica have ice melt spasms, it will plunge our coastlines into flooding chasms. And think of the currents around the Earth. The jet stream is one that has great worth. These currents get changed by temperature differences, and then they wobble, causing bad occurrences. The threats are real, but so are solutions. They involve evolution and not revolution. There is no need for ill will or histrionics. We can manage this change with new economics. At Earth Church, we want to stop global warming and protect the habitat that it is harming. We are hurting the source of our very being. Let's stop this nonsense and get on with winning. So welcome to Earth Church. Pull yourself up a pew. Here we fight global warming and we'll win for you. <laughs>